Hello all, I welcome you to this module and this is titled, Tell Me About Yourself. So when do you hear this question, Tell Me About Yourself? It's a first question that you get in an interview, right? This is a very important question because good answer to this question leaves a strong and positive impression on the interviewer. And the interviewer is not asking you because he doesn't know what you are or what you have done because he would have already got your resume or CV and, and he would have gone through that. But the reason for this question is because the interviewer wants to know what according to you is most important. So as you walk into the interview hall, greet with a smile and sit down. Now I'm going to tell you how to answer this question. So it has three stages or three subsections, okay? So the first section is where you give your one sentence introduction. This sentence should basically summarize who you are and in the process you should use adjectives. The second one, um, the second part of it is where you need to add three to five sentences about your achievements plus proof of accomplishment. And the third subsection is where you say why you want this job. So, We'll get into the details of these sections and I'll tell you what a typical answer or an ideal answer should be. So how do you introduce yourself in a, in a single sentence? Well, I would say I'm an English teacher and a teacher trainer with seven years of experience in ELT industry, that is English language teaching industry. Now, what if you're a fresh graduate? Well, then you could say, I'm a recent graduate from IIT Madras with a BSc degree in data science. Now comes the second section, that is, you are adding three to five lines about your achievements plus proof of accomplishment. So here you're going to tell why you are a good fit for this job. In this particular section, you need to be more specific. You need to give quantifiable numbers. For example, when I talk about my success, I should not be random and vague. I should be um, very specific and therefore I would say something like I specialize in teaching business English. I have trained more than 5000 employees of different multinational companies. So when I say 5000 employees, I'm giving a quantifiable number, right? And many have become repeat customers. So when I say that many have become repeat customers, it means people value the service that I have provided them. Now, if you're a fresh graduate, then I would say you must mention your accomplishments in college. For example, you could say, I have secured 9.5 GPA and have done XYZ courses with NPTEL or Coursera or whatever. And these courses should, should be related to what the company can offer you. You could also say, I have interned at XYZ company on XYZ project which helped me develop my final year project. It was during this project that I discovered that I'm a good team player. So this could be a decent introduction for the accomplishments in college. Now, say why you want this job. Now, here make sure that you don't say anything negative about your current job. Don't say that my boss is bad and my coworkers are plotting against me. They're not the kind of answers that an interviewer is looking for. Here, it is important that you describe how your skills are aligned to their requirements. Uh, that's a good way of uh, telling why you left the job. For example, you could say something like this. If, if I were asked, I would say, I'm very happy with my job, but I'm looking for a more challenging role, one where I can use my skills in a managerial position. That is why I want this job. If you're a fresh graduate, then you could say, I'm looking for a job where I can put my education and skills to use, where I'll be challenged to learn and grow and contribute to the success of the company. To sum it up, if the interviewer asked me, tell me about yourself, I would say, I'm an English teacher and a teacher trainer with seven years of experience in ELT industry. I specialize in teaching business English. I have trained more than 5,000 employees of different multinational companies. Many have become repeat customers. I'm looking for a job where I can put my education and skills to use, where I'll be challenged to learn and grow and contribute to the success of the company. I'm very happy with my current job, but I'm looking for a more challenging role, 
one where I can use my skills in a managerial position. That is why I want this job. This will be a decent introduction. Now, if you are a fresh graduate, you could say, I'm a recent graduate from IIT Madras with a BSc degree in data science. I have secured 9.5 GPA and have done XYZ courses with NPTEL related to what the company can offer you. That is very important. Keep that in mind. I have interned at XYZ on XYZ project, which has helped me develop my final year project. It was during that project that I discovered that I'm a team player. I'm looking for a job where I can put my education and skills to use, where I'll be challenged to learn and grow and contribute to the success of the company. That is why I want this job. Now, coming to a few quick tips. Always be prepared to answer, tell me about yourself. A mistake that a lot of kids commit is that they don't prepare properly um, for this particular question, tell me about yourself. Because as you have learned, tell me about yourself includes questions such as why you want this job, what are your achievements. I mean, if you want to answer it decently, which requires a lot of research from your part about the company, about the kind of work they're doing and, you know, uh, their achievements, um, what is the job role that they're offering, um, the kind of work experience that they're expecting from you. All of these need to be researched to answer the simple question, tell me about yourself. Now, when they ask you this question, please do not talk about your family or hobbies unless they specifically ask you about your ho hobbies or they specifically ask you about your family. So if it's tell me about yourself, please don't talk about your family or hobby. Similarly, do not use superlatives to describe yourself. Don't say I'm the best coder in the country. That would sound ridiculous. Um, so keep in mind that you do not use superlatives to describe yourself. Now your interviewer might also say, walk me through your resume. So instead of tell me about yourself. So in that case, spend very little time describing each job because they're really not interested in knowing what you did before. They would have already read your resume. You need to focus on your achievements and that is what they are also looking for in you. Now, when it comes to the style, you know, how you deliver, it's very important that you speak naturally. Be confident, maintain eye contact and make it conversational and not a monologue. How do you make it conversational? We will see that in the next module. So with that, I'm coming to the end of this module. I will meet you with a different topic on a different day. Until then, stay safe, take care, bye.